So I started my hair journey in about May of 2015. And I did it because I, I love healthy hair. I love taking care of it myself because 99% um, of the time we're home with our hair, with every part of our bodies and our hairdressers would get to see us um, so infrequently. So I decided to go on a hair journey. And at that time I had a really short haircut. I'd done a very short do to about there. And I've managed to grow my hair to mid back length at the moment. A lot of people don't know it's my real hair and I was in studio at Radio Jamaica on Thursday or Friday when my friend Wesley Berger saw my hair down and asked if it was mine. And when I told him it was mine, he couldn't believe it. He literally wanted to feel it to see if it's mine. So I know a lot of you might think it's not mine. I'm going to just show you that it is. And then I'm going to tell you in this episode one of the most crucial things you have to do to maintain, to maintain length and to have really good quality hair over the course of the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, especially in the time of COVID crisis. I'll be showing you some of the things I do, hoping that you can get similar results with some tweaking because everybody's going to require perhaps a different kind of hair regimen to mine. But I will show you my hair routine, my hair care routine, which is every day. And um, hopefully you can get as lovely hair as mine. So let me just show you the my scalp at the moment. Um, so you can see that this is all my hair. I've relaxed it, I think, early January. And I don't usually relax more than twice yearly. So I'm always, my hair is always in a state as if I'm transitioning to being natural, but I'm not. And that's just because, as I said, I have always a lot of new growth. I've probably gone now more than 12, 13 weeks post relaxer. So you can see what the root is like. And I really love the feel of the root. It is quite thick. And um, when you do have a lot of growth, then when you do the relaxer, that's what's going to give you the length which you have to constantly maintain. So in this um, episode today, I will show you part of my hair care routine, which is moisturizing. When you have these two different types of hair, the natural hair coming out, because I've got maybe a 4C hair coming out, and then the relaxed hair, there's always going to be what they call a line of demarcation here. And it's going to need a lot of moisturizing to keep it nice and supple. If you don't moisturize, it is going to break. And it requires moisturizing perhaps twice, um, weekly at least, every day would be good. And I'll show you how I moisturize my hair and the products that I use. I like to moisturize with a moisturizer where the first ingredient is water because the hair needs a lot of water. And I would just section it in about two or four. I could probably just do it in two now. And I would take it up into a nice granny plait. I love grannies. And, um, and then I will, let me just see if I can find my hairpin. Can't find my hairpin at the moment, so I'll just use my tail comb. And then I will just um, moisturize this part. And then I will seal the moisturizer with an oil. And I'm gonna tell you all about oils in this video as well. So the moisturizer I'm going to use now is one by L'Oreal Mega Moisture. It has, it's a moisturizing cream, really good. I used it before and I've bought a new one. It has sunflower seed oil in it. And as I said, the first ingredient is water. Lots of other good ingredients. Over the course of the next couple of weeks, I will teach you what to look for in your moisturizers. So I'm going to go in for some moisturizer, perhaps put it on the back of my, my hand. And then I'm just going to section my hair. I could start from here. 
I'll just section it. And then I'll take just a little bit in my hand and I'll moisturize down to the end. It's very important that you get those ends because I've had the ends, of course, the longest. These are a couple months old. I have had a trim, but I've had the ends for a long time. And I will go again and moisturize another section. Get every shaft of the hair into it. Moisturize. And you make sure when you're combing your hair out, you're using a large comb with very wide teeth because you have to be so gentle with it to keep the length. Yeah. And so I'm getting my ends in. And I have moisturized my hair in about two weeks because of the schedule I've had, but you do get back to it. Sometimes you don't do as much as you should, but you do get back to it. Yeah. So you moisturize. I come back down to the ends and I baby the ends a little bit more. Moisturize. Go back up to the root. And you do that. And then I'm going to I'm going to seal the ends now with a mixture of oils. You would have seen the different oils I've used, the different carrier oils, the different essential oils. This one, the Jamaican black castor oil is absolutely the bomb. And I've mixed this um, bottle with a number of oils. So I have extra virgin olive oil in there. There's avocado oil. There's... Um, and some essential oils like my um, rosemary, my lavender. And I've mixed them up for a long time and had them. So I'm just going to put some on my palm. And then I'm going to seal the ends. See, I just did about three dabs there. And I'm going to rub it up in my, in my hands. Not too much because you just want nice moisture. You don't want it extremely heavy. And you seal the ends of the hair. And of course, the same thing I do to the left side. I'm going to do it to the right side. So you can follow. Yeah. So that's the first tip in getting and maintaining healthy hair. First tip for this time is to moisturize. Moisturize with a good moisturizer with water being the first ingredient, a number of other ingredients, and then you seal it with a mixture of your carrier oils and your essential oils. So, enjoy. <laughs>